Hello everyone, you are watching Lawrence from the past at the moment. I shot this piece of video at the very end of 2021 when I just bought myself a trials bike. I wanted to do trials riding. I didn't want to smash the down tube of my enduro bike into concrete blocks. And so I went on a secondhand website with a budget of only 200 euros and I got this one. And yeah, it saved me way more than 200 euros in bike replacements if I were to smash my frame. This bike is a now no longer existing Cox 74920 inch competition trials bike. I hope I don't get demonetized for riding this brand of trials bike. It's got a 19 inch by 2.5 inch rear tire and a 20 inch by 2 inch front tire. I'm running these Maxxis Creepy Crawlers. That's pretty much the only thing I changed about this bike. So I'm in for about, let's say 300 euros, including these pedals and a new set of grips. Now the bike itself is okay. It's quite heavy it's not very nice in you know how it looks at the moment there's rust and you know dents everywhere which means it is perfect for a complete novice like myself who at the moment one year later because this was filmed today on the 25th of march in 2023 i haven't actually ridden the bike for a year so I can't remember how to do anything. Uh, riding trials is definitely not like riding a bike. It takes so much skill, so much balance, so much commitment that if you're not doing it perfectly and very accurately, you're going to fail. Just getting back up the back wheel, that was so hard. I can't believe how hard it is to get up on the back wheel. Luckily, there are tons of educational videos on channels like Super Rider, for example, where there's just massive playlists with every possible trial skill you could want to learn. Most of it is still way too advanced for me, but you can really tire yourself out just underneath your carport, hiding from the rain. That is what I did all day today. Um, the weather has been horrible basically for weeks now. So I had to come up with some sort of video and I just decided we have a, a Saturday morning we're gonna ride the little bike underneath the carport. And uh, I tried to get up on a, a little wooden beam. Incredibly difficult. The balance you need to do this if you wanna side hop onto it, yeah, quite difficult. And this is still wider than my tires are. Now it would be easier if the beam is actually securely mounted to the floor so it doesn't roll. But um, yeah, that was quite hard. Moving on to just a single pallet was also bit tricky at first just to side hop onto it or to pivot on or pedal on like I'm doing right here. Not the easiest thing in the world but you know I, I got the hang of it again quite quickly. It's just a single pallet. It's like 15 centimeters high. Um, I did a little drop off as well on the back wheel. I find that to be the scariest thing in trials because I don't trust my chain. I don't trust the very weird free wheel which is actually mounted at the cranks. Um, and so I always think the front is going to go down and I'm going to go down with it. So I figured let's ride up stuff, which requires even more precision and balance. So here is me almost making it up, not making it up. And I have way more fails than just these, by the way. Eventually, I did make it up these. And so I figured let's go from one pallet to the next, because that's kind of what trials is. It is messing about and making your own life more difficult and then getting tremendous satisfaction when you actually do it. Um, I didn't leave a, what, 36 square meter area all of Saturday and I got a lot of enjoyment from it, satisfaction from it, a sense of accomplishment from just getting this, what, one meter gap on a wooden beam that's twice as wide as my tire. Um, finally getting these sort of things is actually really fun and that's why I am also making this video. I think not a lot of people are doing trials riding. Even though it is great, it translates into your mountain biking as well, especially the precision and the slow speed nature of it is very important when you're coming up to new areas and new sections for the first time and you're a bit scared. Once you have to put down a foot, the run's over, right? So if you could slow down, just balance and look at everything and come up with a line and then do everything slowly, I find that a lot more enjoyable than having to put the bike away, walk it, then go down it. So I'm hoping these sort of skills translate. And so before long, I was translating my skills to two pallets. So now about one foot, 30 centimeters more or less of height. I could still pedal up quite easily at this point. Um, because yeah, it's only 30 centimeters. 
Now I tried side hopping at that point and also again messing about with that wooden beam trying to roll down it, trying to roll up it. I really had a blast without having any space, just, you know, not leaving the house. Now, one thing that still scares me is that sort of pedal hop drop sort of thing, where you pedal onto the back wheel, then slow down somehow, and then give it another kick of the pedal so your front wheel doesn't come crashing down first. I just, I don't trust my chain at all. Um, I don't trust the weird flywheel, but yeah, we got there in the end. And so two pallets done. Let's go on to three pallets. Now, the top pallet now isn't really a full height pallet, so we're more at like 43 centimeters, I think this is. And I'm using this height because it's quite close to the balance point for doing back hops. So I could put my front wheel on, hop around a bit, put the front wheel down again. Um, one thing that I noticed doing this is because I'm quite tense and my posture isn't very good, I'm wearing myself out really quickly. I'm already quite a heavy rider, but trying to hop around all the time and trying to get your balance and, you know, focusing on trying to make the moves you want to make so you can actually get up these things, it's incredibly tiring. So not only are you working on your balance skills and your technical riding skills, this is also quite the workout. I think if I do this about 30 minutes a day for a year, I'm really going to see both um, skill benefits of it but also fitness benefits and so that is my plan with trials riding in 2023 i want to practice if the weather permits for about 30 minutes a day if i'm home and if the weather permits and if i'm not already doing another type of mountain biking now am i going to do that i don't know maybe i'm biting off more than i can chew here because i usually fail at these sort of training plans that's how i got to the point where i am right now um but the thing with trials is I don't have to leave the house. I don't have to spend hundreds of euros on fuel just to get to a bike park. I don't have to wear out really expensive mountain biking parts. This bike basically requires very little maintenance. I don't have to leave basically my garden or my carport. I could probably even ride this bike indoors if I really wanted to, which I don't. Um, so yeah, this is my video to say to everyone, try trials. It's incredibly difficult, incredibly fatiguing. You'll love it. And yeah, at the end here, I'm just doing three pallets, side hopping on and rolling down the beam. This took me so long to get this shot and to, well, not that the shot is very impressive, but just to do this little line. I hope I can just do it without any, you know, in between correctional hops in a few months. But um, yeah, that was it for me for today. Guys, Pick up a trials bike on a secondhand website and try out um, messing about with it yourself. And if you don't like it, put it back up online so someone else can enjoy the sport. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Cheers. Oh, and I forgot there's some bonus footage. It was absolutely pouring and I wanted to hop onto four pellets, but I needed more speed for that. But my feet were wet, my pedals were wet, and the tires were wet. So I almost knocked all my teeth out. <laughs>